Dogecoin might have broken out from a 192-day pattern. It says, Dogecoin has possibly broken out from a descending wedge. Like I've been sharing with you guys on my press, press, past previous videos, guys. Right now, this is pretty cool, right? Because this pretty much not just confirms, but solidifies what your boy Jaime G has been telling you guys. And it also shares, right, that, you know, I kind of know what I'm talking about. Granted, yes, I'm still learning. And there's still plenty more to learn, but, you know, it kind of shows that I kind of do know what I'm talking about when I come to levels of resistance and support and technicals that show on the charts. It also goes on to say the RSI and MACD have generated bullish divergence. It says, Doge has been moving upwards since February 24th and seems to have broken out from its uh, descending falling wedge pattern. Now, it says Doge has been falling since reaching an all-time high up on May 8th. 2021 of 74 cents since september 7th of the same year it has been decreasing inside a descending wedge the descending wedge is considered a bullish pattern meaning that an eventual breakout from it would be the most likely scenario now it, it's bullish right guys because it signifies a trend reversal right so we've been descending in a downward motion with this uh, uh descending falling wedge right it signifies a uh, trend reversal in a bullish matter right it basically represents an uptrend and we have broken out of this uh falling wedge to the upside since of march of the uh march 14th and i'll show you in the charts here in a second now it says uh yeah 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 so let's actually dive into the charts now so as you can see right here this is the the descending falling wedge pattern that is bullish that I've been sharing with you guys on multiple days, right? This is just so cool, guys, because it confirms what I've been uh, seeing on the charts, right? So now let's just open this up right here, guys, right? So obviously, guys, we have definitely broken to the upside. Now you see this blue support line, right, guys? And it signifies that we're going in a uptrend, right? We Let me get my, uh, so you know what I mean? We've been, we've been respecting this blue line and bouncing right off of this line of support and doing this right now we haven't made no crazy significant major moves to the upside but nonetheless we're moving in the direction that we want to see dogecoin move and that is in a upward um in an upward movement right so this is positive for the price of doge we want to see this right so and not just that right as long as bitcoin keeps doing what it's doing right making them uh uh making them moves to the upside right it broke resistance at 40k now that 40k is support we haven't even hit 40k uh, in the past few days now right we've been ranging between 41,000 and about 42,300 ish right so that is bullish for bitcoin now as long as bitcoin continues to do that then things are going to be looking good for dogecoin now if, if uh bitcoin you know starts dipping well then you better expect that dogecoin is going to dip as well and not just dogecoin the overall crypto markets but guys as you can see right here right we've been uh respecting this blue support line and we are trending up nonetheless now as far as resistance goes guys now this 21 day ema which i'm going to pull out right now has been acting as a pain in the ass as a level of support resistance right now four days ago all right as you can see this red line here all right four days ago uh, which is right here on this uh, candle here, right? We were about three quarters of the way above um, this resistance line and the following day, same scenario. But on that third day where it's an indecisive candle, right? We basically dipped below it for about 24 hours. And as you can see yesterday, we were pretty much above it. Now today's candle, you know, it's not fully formed, but I would like to see at least one more, you know, uh, daily full candle above this moving average and then to me that'll solidify and confirm that we have definitely flipped the trend and made resistance into support and this will be our level of support but until then i'm still going to say that support is at 11 cents and resistance is at 12 cents at this uh 21 day ema until at least one more day right i don't want to count my chickens before they hatch right it will be we'll keep it real you know dogecoin has priors for you know making these upward moves and then in return a couple days later moving losing steam 
and going right back into that downtrend. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that the bulls will continue to slap around these bears and keep making these boss, boss moves to the upside. Now, all right, guys, now that was as, what I had as far as the charts go. Now, let's dive into some more Dogecoin news. Thank you if you are still with me. Uh, where's my other article? Now, it says another Dogecoin core release might be in the works. Price consolidate. It says top meme cryptocurrency Dogecoin may soon see another core release. According to recently shared GitHub notes, the shared notes pertain to the release of Dogecoin V1.14.6. Uh, the recent version of the Doge of V1.14.5 uh, was released in November of 2021 to include important security updates and changes to the network policies. Apart from the GitHub notes, details about the upcoming Dogecoin V1.14.6 release remain scantily at the moment so basically guys they're giving us a little teaser they're letting you know giving us you know enough to reel us in to keep us wondering right so obviously it's probably going to be sooner than later they're letting us know that hey there's another uh you know another core release in the pipeline we're not going to let you know exactly what date but it's coming obviously that's what i'm taking that's the takeaway from this here in my opinion now it says Dogecoin price consolidates. Now it says Doge has, Dogecoin has been in a downward trend in recent months as previously reported by you today. But as I've been sharing with you guys in my previous videos and not just that with this article from you today confirming what I've been sharing that we are now in a uptrend, not in a downtrend no more. Now it says the meme coin which gained, I'm not going to read all that there now. It says over the last 24 hours, the top 100 Dogecoin holders have increased their portfolios as whale stats reports. A 10.3835 rise in the average Doge balance of this category of investors, basically whales. Now, since the average Doge value of their portfolio has also grown by 13.98%, Dogecoin also ranked among the top 10 holdings by Binance, Binance Whales, right? And it shows right here, guys, we're ranking number six. So we're basically in the middle, right? We're not on top and we're not on the bottom. So the middle is a good place to be, right? And it says Dogecoin profitability per in, in to the block data has increased by 55 percent more addresses in the money are expected to be beneficial to the network because holders are less inclined to sell to break even on their positions and i agree as well right guys so obviously 55 percent of dogecoin hodlers guys are in the money they're in profit right guys so that's not too bad right guys considering you know we've dropped all the way 84 percent from 74 cent, 74 cents to where we're currently at now at 12 cents nonetheless that major dip people 55 percent of the holders are still in profit so that's a good thing right that's a lot better than a lot of these other coins that are out there right now as far as the profitability goes right so all right i got one more dogecoin article then we'll get into some um uh, overall crypto market news guys thank you if you're still with me now it says doge whale mystery continues 261 million dogecoin moved in a single transaction again now okay you guys might be wondering okay Jaime, so what it's just another whale making moves blah 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 guys this is important because transactions on the doge blockchain creates a positive momentum for trading volume right and it helps spike the price of dogecoin up as it'll say here in this article now it says whales crypto speak for large holders who are holding top meme uh dogecoin showed high activity levels with many notable transactions processed by the blockchain. Now says what happened? Blockchain data service Clank app shows that a single transaction on Monday moved over 261 million Dogecoin valued at over 31.1 million as of press time. Blockchain data also uh, shows this is the same Dogecoin which Benzenga previously reported on multiple times. This same coin keeps uh, getting transferred sometimes also sending a significantly lower amount to a secondary address along the way it says earlier this month dogecoin's trading volume skyrocketed from about 382 million per 24 hours to well over 850 million within hours this also coincided with a pickup in on-chain activity and the price jumping about 10 percent see exactly guys like i was showing right so you had 382 a million dollars worth of doge moved in 24 hours and then a couple hours later you had you know 850 million so what is that guys 8 9 10 11 12 right that's you know i mean that's you know over a lot of millions of dollars worth of dogecoin moved the point i'm getting is 
when you see this type of movement on the Doge blockchain, it acts as a positive catalyst. In this return, you see it made it move up about 10%. So this is what we want to see, right, guys? We want to see whales gobbling up Dogecoin. We want to see transactions being made on the Dogecoin blockchain to help spike the price of Doge up, right? So overall, guys, you know, we're... We're definitely moving in the right direction. Like I said, we're looking good as far as the charts go. We're looking good in trading volume. We're looking good as far as, you know, whales gobbling up more Dogecoin, right? So we got a lot of promising things look going good. And also, you know, we have good old Grandpa Bitcoin making uh, positive moves. So as long as we continue to have all these positive catalysts uh, right now in, in, in the short term, then... We're going to continue to be looking bullish in the short term, right? In the long term, uh, we're bullish regardless, right? Because I'm just bullish, and I think in the long term, Dogecoin is going to blow a lot of people's mind on what it does. All right, now let's dive into some overall crypto market news. That's what I had as far as Dogecoin goes. Now, it says major banks say customers demand more crypto-related services as interest in digital assets grows. Now, I think this is huge, guys, and a positive for, for cryptocurrency. Why, guys? Because it just shows that more and more people are starting to be curious about crypto and are starting to want to invest. Now, since despite recent turbulence and lack of regulatory clarity, several of Australia's major banks, super funds, and financial institutions suggest customers interested in emerging cryptocurrency assets class remains strong. Representatives from Visa, uh, Macquire, the Commonwealth Bank, and JP Morgan all said that their consumers were driving them uh, to give more cryptocurrency related services and on the opening day of blockchain Australia's five-day blockchain week conference in Sydney Commonwealth Bank of Australia CBA Sophia uh, Gilder uh, told delegates at a conference that the bank was working on new products for both retail and institutional investors as per the Sydney Morning uh, Herald and she had this to say she said uh, Sophie Gilder also stated that the bank had received an overwhelming response to its initial launch of a in-app cryptocurrency trading despite it being under the radar of Australia's regulatory watchdog, right? And this, it says, in the full spectrum of customer needs that we would like to fulfill in a measured and steady manner, partly because you need regulation and partly because it needs an extremely solid business case, she said. Right, guys? So regardless of the regulatory, guys, the, the point that this is trying to drive home in this article is that the demand, right, whether it's retailers or institutional and uh, clients, the demand for crypto continues to grow at a rapid pace. And this is bullish for adoption and for mainstream. Now, I'm going to close out with this article here, guys, right? Actually, let me jump on this one real quick. I'm just going to read the title, right? Then I'll get into the article. Now, so 2.6 billion worth of Bitcoin left cryptocurrencies exchanges in March, right? So basically, in the last 22 days, guys, over 600 and what is it? I think it shows the... It's a approximately 61,000 Bitcoin from trading platforms, right, to their private wallets. Now, why is this bullish and why is this important? This is bullish and this is important for, for crypto. Why, guys? Because it shows, in my opinion, for one, that people are bullish uh, short-term and the long-term, right? And they're hodling their their Bitcoin. Why? Because they believe that the price of Bitcoin is going to go up in the, in the short-term and in the long-term, right, guys? And this is bullish. And two, you know, maybe they don't trust... Um, you know, exchanges to hold their their Bitcoin, right? But to me, in my opinion, I, I think it's because they believe in the long term, Bitcoin is going to continue to shoot up in price. Now, this is where I'm going to close out at, right? It says, investment app Acorn catches crypto bug as Bitcoin exposure. Now, it says, Acorn is an investment fintech that popularized the feature to invest spare change into pre-built portfolios along with banking services such as checking account. Now, I was actually using this app, guys. It's a very cool app because it allows you, like, say you spend $3.50 on your on your debit or credit card. Now, the remaining $0.50, cents, you can, you know, go back into your account or you can have it go into this Acorn app, right? And you'll be surprised, man, uh, on how fast your account will accumulate uh, by just change. Right now, you can allocate invest up or you can invest up to five percent in bitcoin right guys now this is huge right because it says according to the announcement the galaxy digital backed company says that it implemented the feature as their 4.6 million subscribers express interest in cryptocurrencies now i'll give you two reasons on why i'm bullish on this and why this is positive for crypto one 
There is 4.6 million subscribers right now. Just say 3% of this 4.6 million people started investing in crypto, right? Not just that, it educates and it gives people uh, the opportunity at their fingertips, right, guys, to invest in crypto. People that would have never imagined investing in crypto or, or, or never even knew about crypto, but now this app that they use for traditional investing has the ability to invest in crypto. Now it might pique their interest, and now you have, you know, 1 million out of this 4.6 million that are now investing in crypto. Now that helps for adoption and mainstream. Therefore, it is a bullish case in the long term for cryptocurrency, right, guys? So, anyways, this is what your boy had for you, man. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay bullish. Remember, in the long term, it's going to pay off, guys. Stay blessed, guys. Your boy Hammer G's out. Peace.